far as the icons in this project, I decided to go a different route where I used the hero icons site. So once you navigate there, you'll notice a bunch of nice icons. And essentially, I just set them up as components. So let me show you with one and then you'll understand the general concept. Just pick the icon you want. In this case, I think I'm going to go with this ban one. And as far as I noticed, there's really no difference whether you go with JSX or SVG. So let me just copy this one. Let's navigate back. And then in the icons, you'll notice full blown component that I will right away export. So let me keep scrolling and I'm going to call this testing. So I'm going to say export const. And that's going to be my testing component. And in here, you just want to set up the value you want to return. So this essentially will be the icon. Now I am styling it though, in the CSS and in a second, you'll see what I mean. So I have this testing icon right now. So that's the return that I just copied. So now let's navigate to the navbar since I already have the import for the cart icon. And let's set up over here, the testing one as well. And we can place it anywhere we want. So let me put it side by side. And you'll notice that this is a giant or I'm sorry, well, I already applied the styling. So maybe this is not going to work over here. Maybe let me set up here, the fragment, and then you'll see what I mean. So let me move the sucker down again. This is just temporary, you don't have to follow along. But you'll notice that if we don't apply the styling, we'll get this massive icon. Basically, that's the default that they provide. So in the styles in the index CSS, I added some styling for specific icons. So now I'm talking about the cart icon. And also the same applies for these ones over here as well. So not only you'll need to get the icon, but notice over here, I applied some width, as well as the color. And of course, you can add more styles. So essentially, that's how I set up my icons where I created icons JS. And in here, you'll find three icons. So one for the cart, and then the other ones for the actual cart items. And then I imported the icon from the hero icon. So I set it up as a component, I export, and then I import in any of the components that I want. And then I just need to apply a little bit of styling and you want to target the SVG. So now let me remove the testing one. And also let me remove it from the icon since we won't use it. And now let's proceed to the next step. 